Sarasota Bay is one of the area's largest and most important natural resources. Stretching from Anna Maria Sound to Venice Inlet, the bay is an estuary, a place where fresh water and salt water mix. Estuaries serve as nurseries for 80% of the world's sea life. Sarasota Bay is home to more than 1,400 species of plants and animals and is designated an estuary of national significance by the federal government. Protecting this valuable asset is the focus of the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program. The program uses the bay's five native seagrasses as barometers of the waterway's health. Seagrass need light to survive. So in order for the light to reach the seagrass, the water needs to be relatively clear. The more pollutants that are in the water, the less light that's going to reach the seagrass. So as the water quality improves, the seagrass beds increase as well. The main pollutants affecting grasses in Sarasota Bay are nitrogen and other nutrients, which increase the amount of light-blocking algae. Declines in water clarity and dredge and fill operations led to a nearly one-third drop in the bay's vegetation from 1950 through 1988. But since then, seagrass growth has improved significantly, up almost 50% over the past two decades. The turnaround is due to improvements of wastewater treatment plants and replacement of septic tanks. Today, most of the nitrogen in the bay comes from stormwater runoff, rainfall that drains across the watershed, picking up pollutants along the way. This has led to a call, and in some locations, a requirement that businesses and homeowners restrict their use of fertilizers, especially during the rainy season. 